Welcome to the channel and welcome to another update on the COVID-19 outbreak. Coming to you from Shenzhen, China. Now I know I said I would do an update every other day unless there was some news that I thought was important enough to bring to you. And today there has been some news which I feel is important to bring to you guys. But before we get on to that, I just want to run quickly over the numbers. The format will be a little bit different today because I've done this video in a bit more of a hurry. Um, so you're not going to get all the fancy graphics that you normally get. So here goes with the numbers. In, in China, there are 76,392 confirmed cases, 2,348 deaths and 20,849 recovered. The active live cases, which are confirmed um, minus the deaths and recovered, are 53,205. And globally, which is um, everywhere else around the world excluding China, there are 1,412 confirmed cases, 12 deaths and 146 people whom have recovered. Um, so the confirmed active cases is 1,254. Now this has increased quite sharply over the last couple of days. Um, the biggest increase of 190 today was in South Korea. They now have a total of 346 cases. Japan have seen an additional 16 and Italy have had another 20 cases reported in the last 24 hours. Um, on top of that, Iran have 18 new cases. Um, Iran authorities have also said that they believe the virus has spread to possibly all of the cities now within Iran. Interestingly, that Iran only reported its first cases a few days ago and now it al already has 18. So it seems as though the uh, virus is spreading quite rapidly in Iran. And also the USA have now declared another 19 new cases. I believe these are the cases that were evacuated from the cruise ship, um, but that now brings the total in the USA to 34. And now onto the news that I, I wanted to bring you today. A report has appeared in JAMA, which is the Journal of American Medical Association. It's quite a prestigious journal but this report documents a case that has been looked into by Chinese scientists that have showed that a woman, um, a young 20 year old woman, has um, contracted the coronavirus. She has spread it to uh, five family members, but up to the 11th of February, she had shown no signs at all. So this young woman traveled from Wuhan, the epicenter of the outbreak, to a town or city called Anyang. I'm not familiar with Anyang. However, when she arrived in Anyang on the 10th of January, she went to see some relatives and she had meals and such like with the relatives. Subsequently, some of the relatives started to become ill. So the young woman was isolated. She was initially tested and those tests came back negative. She was subsequently tested again and came back positive. Um, the five of her relatives um, developed COVID-19 and became ill. Up until the 11th of February, even though the woman has tested positive, she has shown no symptoms at all and remains without any cough, cold, you know, uh, chest infection, difficulty breathing, nothing at all. Um, so this, this raises a lot of questions um, and this might be why that there are now um, instances turning up in different parts of the world. For example, um, in Korea, they have not been able to trace the uh, index of the outbreak there. It may explain why there's cases popping up in Italy when they have no idea where, where that started. The same with Iran. So this really does pose a lot of questions. And I really wonder how authorities will be able to control this outbreak if there are people that can spread the disease that that have no symptoms whatsoever because 
why would they get tested in the first place if they have uh, no symptoms so they might be carrying it spreading it to many people without even realizing it so i think this sort of changes the game um, to some extent um, i will explore this a bit further in my full update tomorrow but for now this is the end of this update i just really wanted to bring you that news because i thought it was really important as always, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you like the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you want to know as soon as we get a new video out, hit those bells. But in the meantime, as always, take care.